All right, hello and welcome to FMBP Dota's cast of Sivo round four, I believe. We got top of the line going up against Washed Up. I'm Joey, and with me is Callie, who can't talk on the screen, but <laughs> yeah. if you're watching on <laughs> I'll YouTube... I'll be on for now. If you're watching on YouTube or... Uh, or streaming, I guess. stream at twitch.tv slash fakemd, you'll be able to hear Callie. Yeah, that's me. Um, so yeah, we're finally in a live SIBO game, I guess. It's kind of, kind of an exciting thing for us, and we just got the stream working. So yeah, it was twitch.tv fakemd. Is what it is, I guess. Uh, we're streaming right now, so and then it'll also be up on YouTube as well, right? Yeah, it'll be up on YouTube. Um, let's go over the bands. We got a uh, a Wisp, uh, the first ban out from top of the line, and then Undying. So pretty common bands. And then a Darkseer, also a common band, taken out for Washed Up and uh, waiting on. Yeah. So yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of the main big heroes though are still left in the pool, such as Nyx, Bat Rider, Magnus, even so, uh, even the Coddle, I guess, to a lesser extent. Washed up choosing to ban out uh, the Gyrocopter here, so lots of choices here for top of the line. Uh, I expect something like a Bat Rider or a Nyx. Um, I'd say Magnus is still pretty good. He's uh, he's just not as good at off laning anymore with that uh, skewer nerf, but. He's uh, he's definitely first pick material. I think with Batrider and Nyx in the pool though, yeah, they're gonna go with Nyx. So he's just such a strong hero. It's so hard to deal with. Can put him pretty much anywhere. Uh, so yeah, they're picking the Nyx, and we'll we'll see. I guess uh, Bounty Hunter here washed up. Maybe uh, I remember they picked Bounty Hunter pretty early in that other game we cast as well. So I guess they put a lot of faith in that Bounty Hunter. Yeah. Well, here's the Earthshaker pick again by Washed Up bringing that out again so we'll see how it works they put it into a tri lane and then there's the nyx and bat rider picks coming out of the top of the line so unless washed up has been studying up on how to shut both of those heroes down because they let them get two great picks right there yeah well you know so now that you mention it the bat the earth shaker is pretty good at going scone against that bat rider which as soon as he uh uses that flame break or that Firefly, excuse me, and uh, you just drop a Fisher, kind of separate the fight, and Bat Rider's the only one who can go over, you can kind of just isolate him and kill him, uh, nuke him down before anything else happens, so Urshaker is one of the best heroes for going against Bat Rider, I'd say, you just don't really see it that much in the, uh, in the pro scene right now. Yeah, so let's see, uh, I guess they'll be doing Nyx support, Bat Rider probably going to go mid, but, and Keeper of the Light, wow, Kato and Nyx, so that'll most likely be paired together, because that's quite good uh, in lanes. Yeah, we've seen ton of that, tons of tri lanes with the Nyx and the Keeper of the Light, and uh, pretty uh, pretty safe to say they can shut down almost any offlaner. I expect them, uh, if they are going against the Bounty Hunter, to uh, shut them down pretty handedly. Yeah, and then a Crystal Maiden so picked we'll have to up, see. so that's an interesting pickup. Crystal Maiden is really strong, but the only problem she has, she's a little slow uh, initially, and she can become food pretty quick for the likes of Nyx Assassin and Batrider. Yeah, definitely. Uh, just like you said, not as, not as high mobility. And, uh, you know, it does does provide a lot of help with that um, with that aura to heroes who need it. I mean, uh, you can kind of spam out the uh, Fisher with the Earth Shaker if, if you get a few levels up in the aura, but nowadays Crystal Nova and Frostbite are just pretty strong nukes, actually. So in a tri lane, I feel like she's a pretty good tri lane hero as long as, uh, as, long as you can avoid her getting initiated upon and then just kind of, like, nuke down before the, the, even the battle even starts, before she can drop a spell. So... You kind of have to, you kind of have to be the one initiating with Crystal Maiden. I feel on your squad, but in a trial versus trial situation, I feel like she's, uh, she's pretty strong. If you max that Crystal Nova, you max that Frostbite, and kind of hold off on the Arcane Aura for a little bit and, and uh, get some kills that way. Yeah, so more bans coming out here. Uh, Magnus finally banned out. Although I don't think top of the line would have picked it up. Most of their lanes are pretty much already called. I guess Batrider can uh, solo off lane if they go aggressive or jungle even. And then Lone Druid banned out. From top of the line, not wanting to go up against that. Oh, I'm sorry. Top of the line wouldn't pick Magnus. That's why they banned him. So yeah, good ban. Yeah. <sighs> Coming off of an illness, I'm still not 100%. Uh, and then Nyx and Tidehunter banned out. Pretty much always good bans. I don't. They didn't have room for a Tidehunter in their lineup really, so maybe slightly wasted. But uh, but Nyx uh, being a good ban choice for sure. 
Yep, definitely. And uh, Tide Hunter, you know, his ultimate's always pretty strong at any stage of the game, and uh, if he gets the farm up, he can he can dev devastate team fights. We saw uh, washed up against uh, the Art of Warfare there, uh, Warfare there, uh, Icon playing the Tide Hunter, and he just he got his blink dagger at about ten minutes, I believe, and uh, that's when they started to group together and just take team fights and just kind of overwhelmed washed up. So uh, I guess washed up kind of. Maybe a little worried about the the tide hunter who's getting free farm against the bounty hunter. Uh, worried about the same thing happening, so they're taking him out. And uh, and then top of the line, banning out the the TA, just a formidable mid hero. Noticing that washed up doesn't really have a mid hero yet, and uh, washed up also taking out the anti mage. So banning two carries and the nakes and the anti mage in the second banning phase. All right, well top of the line, living up to their name here with the top of the line picks. I would. I would quit if I was about to go up against this lineup. This lineup is looking pretty strong. They got that uh, Phantom Lancer, more commonly known as 4.2, I believe, nowadays, with that agility growth. Um, yeah, just one of the strongest heroes, uh, one of the strongest carries in this patch. If he can get his farm up early on with that defusal, and uh, paired with the Keeper of the Light, and uh, probably the Shadow, De the Nyx, but uh, here comes a Shadow Demon pick, so I don't know where that's going to go. We'll have to see, but yeah, paired with the Phantom, uh, with the Keeper of the Light, he's, yeah, yeah, maybe, and then, uh, I mean, that's probably what I would do, or else, or else put him with, uh, the Keeper of the Light, and, um, the Nyx mid could work as well, so, but I think it's pretty safe to say the Batrider's gonna be going in the off lane, uh, probably the only one who can safely do it, unless they run an offensive try lane, of course. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing a Shadow Fiend in action. Um, they're going to farm him up in a tri lane or just send him mid. Um, I guess maybe they'll take some time to read the lanes and see what they're going to do. And then they pick up a Doom. Not even Doombringer anymore. They drop that. Just a Doom. Immediately, Rich scoops him up. Dalex picks up Shadow Fiend. He took mid last game we cast as Necro. So maybe expect Shadow Fiend to head up mid. Uh, Jason and Wood were the supports. Uh, Wood played Earthshaker actually last game as well. And so who's the bounty? Yep. Bad Mofo. He played Bounty Hunter last game too, I remember. Yeah, you're exactly right. Uh, we we can expect the Shadow Fiend to be going mid here and uh depending on who's the mid for the other team. If it's if it's the uh, Bat Rider, it's it's I don't know, that's going to be really tough. If it's the Nyx, it's it's not too bad as long as you can get the souls early on. But uh that's the re like Bat Rider or Shadow Fiend is the reason. Oh, okay. I'll, oh, they won't even finish this point. I'm just gonna go. Again. So is this this should be working, eh? Right? Yeah, it's working great. And it looks like Nyx is heading mid, as you were just saying. Yeah. So I was pretty much just thinking, uh, Shadow Fiend is the reason that Bat Rider became a popular hero in the mid lane. So uh, you know, I wouldn't really be surprised if Bat Rider does go mid, but it looks like for now, uh, Zeth is gonna be taking that Nyx assassin in the mid lane. He's actually picked up a Quelling Blade as well, so. There, yeah, there you go. Yeah, let's do a quick team introduce. It doesn't look like they're going to run into each other. We got uh, Sevent, Seven T playing the PL here for the Dire top of the line. Uh, Coddle going to be played by Captain Cray. And then Predict going to be supporting on that Shadow Fiend in the tri lane. Uh, Zeth, as we mentioned, playing that Nyx Assassin going up mid, picking up a Quelling just to last it a little better. And then, of course, Unstoppable. Bat Rider off lane right here. Yeah, I think we might see an unstoppable off lane here. Um, they do have, sorry, they do have uh, quite a bit of shutdown in terms of the Crystal Main, who actually has picked up Frostbite first. So, you know, it's it's kind of always the debate of whether Crystal Nova, Crystal Nova, or Frostbite to go first. But with that Earthshaker paired with the Earthshaker, it's gonna be pretty good shutdown. So I think the Bat Rider's gonna have to, uh, Bat Rider's gonna have to be pretty careful here in the off lane. And it uh, looks like he didn't cut down the trees beforehand, uh, like I've seen some bat riders do in the offline with, uh, in other games, just to kind of get the full vision. I'm going to go ahead and introduce the, uh, the Radiant here. Oh uh, yeah, sure. Uh, on the Doom, we got Rich, uh, playing that carry role, he's picked up Devour, so... You know, with that free farm, you can really get your farm up pretty quick. I remember seeing this in the International 1 a lot, uh, farming Doom uh, by Ehome, just pretty much devastating teams by uh, getting this farm up so fast, getting so tanky, and then just uh, 
just starting a team fight and standing on the front lines pretty much soaking up all the damage. We gotta go here on Unstoppable, but immediately pops off that Firefly and able to get out to safety. Yeah, so hard to chase him after that. Uh, like you said, on the off lane, we got Bounty Hunter being played by Bad Mofo. Uh, he's gonna be soaking up a little bit of experience here in the in the uh, in the top lane while the supports from TOL are just uh, trying to farm up as best they can. In the mid lane, we got Balax on the Shadow Fiend. Uh, picked up one soul so far, so I'm not doing the worst. He's just getting constantly man man drained here by Zeth, so he's not gonna be able to spam raises at all. Uh, on the other shaker, we got Wood. Uh, I think he was playing him last game as well. Uh, so maybe just one of his uh, favorite heroes, and then Jason on the Crystal Maiden. All right, yeah, I'd like to mention really quick the warding here coming out. Uh, really, three defensive wards right here over the river at three crucial points for the uh, for the radiant. This one's a little strange here at the top of river, and then a lane ward, which is great for tri lanes to do uh, if you're dire, right up here, and then a rune ward that they've got placed out as well. And it looks like just a bit of a farm game right now. Um, oh, Bounty Hunter is just going to kill Yeah, it looks... Game. Yeah, I was just actually going to note that uh, Mint's not looking too good already for uh, for Washed Up. He's, he's leading the last two tries. He's got 14 right now. I guess that Clone Blade just paying huge dividends already. And uh, that's really what you need to do against the Shadow Fiend is just get the last two advantage early on. And especially with uh, that Mana Drain, uh, the Shadow Fiend's unable to just Shadow Raise for creeps right now, so it's something you can do as a Shadow Fiend if you're falling behind in last hits, just start just start using your raises for last hits, get that damage up a little bit, but he's, he's unable to do that with the constant mana drain. Yeah, it actually is a, a pretty good pretty good matchup there for Nyx, I didn't really think about it. Because uh, without that mana, your Shadow Fiend's just this really squishy character that doesn't have escape, that doesn't hit for a lot. Yeah. Yeah, uh, with the uh, with this matchup, I feel like for Shadow Fiend, you kind of need to go for for some early damage on and, and just forget about the early bottle because I think that Nyx is probably gonna get it anyway. But uh, I'm, I'm not sure if he bought these Observer Wards uh, oh. or whether. Oh, he first blood! Oh. Unstoppable getting picked off there. Almost able to get a double kill uh, with the Firefly. I guess maybe not almost uh, onto Rich and Wood, but they were able to pick him off there. I think one. I'm not sure what got it. One last auto attack or maybe some scorched earth burn over the cliff ledge there. Yeah, well, it hasn't gotten a point in level death yet, so wasn't that, I guess, must have been just a last hit or something like that. But, uh, yeah, nice pick off there for Washed Up, and that's really going to help them out. They're, uh, they're losing the last hit battle right now, and although the Doom can farm really fast with that Devourer, they, that kill is really going really gonna to come in handy here. Yeah, nice first blood uh, going the way of... Oh, he actually got the pickup on that kill too, so... It's going to be really rich, probably get an even quicker Midas uh, right out of the gate, assuming that's what he's going to go. I uh, picked up Treads level 1, actually. Now uh, Batrider coming back with a Vengeance here, dropping uh, Sticky Napalm all over him. Three stacks here from one stop. Another pause. Pause coming out here. Yeah, actually, if you look, if you look back to the middle lane, I I hate to keep going back here, but uh, maybe it's, it's kind of necessary. Bob, Bob's actually picked up a, a point in presence of the Dark Order. Now, I'm not sure if that was a misclick, but it's almost unheard of to go for an early point in presence of the Dark Order. Although, in a one v one situation, you know, it's not too bad. One point, and you get three armor reduction, so that's pretty much a permanent armor reduction. Well, he'll do more and, to the uh, creep you know, as well. As a result, maybe he picked yeah. it up thinking that. Exactly, maybe lacking a few last hits feels like he can uh, it can help him out a little bit better, but it's not really... Oh, it looks like up top though, watch out for uh, Bad Mofo. Got a bottle up now, down, here is Sentry's so. down on Bad Mofo, he's got the damage amplification on him as well, but he's uh, able to get away there, no treads yet on the PL. Um, no treads yet on anyone in that top lane. Yeah, that's one of the problems with this uh, top lane here, this uh, tri lane for TOL is they've they've pretty much got the disruption and then a slow from the keeper light or from the phantom lancer, sorry, and uh, no points in mana leak yet, so the keeper light not really contributing to a stun or or disable or anything like that. So, Bounty Hunter able to just kind of walk out of there. Yeah, they're gonna. Coddle does need some levels. That's one downside of running him in a tri lane. To to be like really effective, he needs. A couple levels of chakra, oh, illuminate, bot, maybe. Bot rune. We've got a fight for the bot rune here. Double damage, invis. 
on. Oh, wait, that's not Ninjas, sorry. Balax has a haste. Double damage, uh, fix there, but Balax haste up. Gonna find Unstoppable. Oh no, that's his teammate. Gonna find Rich. Rich is pretty slow. He gets stunned up the there. The scorched Earth there, stunning him uh, from the Spike Carapace. Gonna turn around, get the Courier. Somehow, Rich stutter stepped a little bit and uh, got caught out as well for the death. Oh, a nice flame break there by Unstoppable. The Bat Rider Wood gonna go down. Another last hit. Nyx picking up a double kill. Could get a triple here. Oh, Shadow Demon though. He's quick. He's got that haste still. He picked up that kill on Bat Rider and get back to mid. But with that double kill on Zeth, I don't know if he's gonna be able to gain lane dominance off uh, out of that or anything. And the Bounty Hunter disconnects from the game again. Another lag. Jason here stuns himself. But uh, wow. Spike Carapace stunning too there. It is the battle of the ages here in the jungle. Will there be enough damage? Balex is gonna go down, and I think in the next hit. But if he can get a quick turn, he needs to bottle. He needs yeah, to if bottle. he gets that bottle charge, he can turn. Point. Oh, but the stun from Zeth is well played. Picks up a kill and Crystal oh. Man and gets him down. So that's three kills for Zeth and a death. I'd say it's probably worth it. Bounty Hunter is disconnected. He's chilling in base right now. So it's a bit unfortunate. Maybe they yeah. got tired of Maybe. pausing. Maybe oh, he's back quickly. Oh, so. there, yeah, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good team fight I'd say for TOL, TOL even though it's just the, the Nyx and the Bat Rider against pretty much four heroes here for Washed Up. But you know, uh, the Earthshaker was pretty low on mana, and, and Rich was really low on health as well with the nice. I think he was kind of blocked in with the Fisher at first, at least initially, and uh, he's kind of able to do some uh, damage. But he went down pretty quick in that team fight, so that wasn't really good for Washed Up. But they did get some some return kills on the uh, Bat Rider as well as the Nyx later on. And Nick's Vendetta in here at the uh, tier one tower, so it looks like they want to get a kill here on the, on the uh, Doom before he gets any tank here. Yeah, I got my eyes eyes on the scene. Here he comes on to Doom. He unload. Nice impale, nice flame damage. It would have been unfortunate if Wood blocked in Ridge, but Ridge gonna drop regardless there. So there's another kill. A Wood maybe a little stuck out from where he should be. We got another impale coming out. So there's the impale onto more fire and more napalm and more attack. The Bat Rider getting a double kill there. Yeah, nice coordination there by the Bat Rider and the Nyx again, teaming up for two uh, pretty good kills there on the uh, bat, on the Doom. It's just it's kind of annoying. He he pops the uh, he pops the um, the Scorched Earth to run away there, giving that extra move speed. But then all Nyx has to do is pop his Carapace, and it's an instant stun. Uh, with that uh, leveled up to level two, it's 1.2 seconds stun, just pretty much for free on the bat on the uh, Doom. So. Kind of unfortunate, but you know, a good counter pick here by uh, TOL. Lots of people mid here to gank up Balix, though I don't even know if they were needed. <laughs> they weren't. Zeth gets a solo kill, even though Predict and uh, Captain Cray was looping around the backslide there. So Zeth uh, having okay, a fun game. Some extra experience, I guess. Radiance bottom he's got his mana boots up early. Looks like he's going for a dag on now. He's got the Null Talisman up. Check out the yeah, pretty cool stuff graph here. as well. Uh, we got a, well, the XP graph is 2k, 3k, and going even more in favor of um, top of the line here, and then gold of graphs hovering at about Oh, check out bottom lane though. Rich doesn't have doom, wrap so you can get that off the Batrider. Doom on the Batrider, he's gonna go down. It's a dead Batrider. So nice, nice, uh, nice gank there set up by the supports, and then uh, and Doom obviously. Yeah, nice, nice job by Rich to get the Doom off before the Batrider could uh, use that Firefly, and then uh, wonderfully chain stunned here by Wood. Here comes Zeth well for as, some revenge. As well as Jason. He's looking for Crystal Maiden, I, I would assume. Yeah, he goes on Crystal Maiden. Oh, Crystal Maiden, nice dodge into the trees and then a stun, but you can still cast in that. And there's a. Uh, oh, Illuminate there, taken out from Captain Crane. <laughs> taken out the Crystal Maiden. Zeth quick to react to that and resume chase onto the, on the Doombringer, but he's gonna get away. Void running from Shadow Demon right now. He's got three poisons on him. Yeah. Able to get to safety, so only Crystal Maiden dropping there. Uh, Balix is oh, rotating coming in though, I might be in trouble. Mid. Getting a little caught out here. The damage application is on. We don't even need an Illuminate. The raise, the Spike Carapace into the raise. Good uh, awareness there by Zeth to uh, quickly use that. Yeah. Yeah, nice job. Nice job there. The wards actually just ran out for. Uh, for washed up, so I guess uh, Balak is coming a little bit blind into that jungle and uh, just picked off kind of pincer there in between uh, Predict and Zeth. So nice play there by TL and uh, just kind of a little bit unfortunate there by washed up.
But, uh, you know, Bad Mofo is getting up his, uh, his levels there on the Yeah, it looks like he's winning this too. top lane against 7 here. Going for yeah, a tower dive, the, uh, but takes a few hits and then decides to run away. Well, it looks yeah. like we got another big fight bot oh, here, man. unstoppable. It's going on Rich. He gets him, he gets lassos oh, up, but horses. then the horses come in and they're just so strong with level 3 illuminate. But the lasso wasn't even needed, but why not use it anyway? Yeah, lasso is pretty uh, pretty low cooldown, and uh, anytime you can get a kill, it's pretty much worth it to use. So, uh, you know, nice job there by Unstoppable, and throwing a flame break into the woods there, uh, wood on the Earthshaker. Aware of it, and he's just kind of dodge over there. I, I think he's a little scared to uh, run back here, but he's got no, almost no mana, only enough for one enchant totem, so he's gonna have to either back out or uh, just kind of wait for the crystal, the arc, the uh, arcane or on the crystal main to get his mana up a little bit. Okay, check out some skill builds here. Jason actually gone for two points of crystal nova, two points of frostbite, and one in aura. Uh, it's pretty common. Uh, skill build from back in the day. Oh, I'd say, oh kill Alex here. in the mid lane, which I actually missed. Yeah. Uh, with the help of predict a little bit, I feel uh, he dropped a soul clutch at least. Didn't use his ulti ultimate. Didn't have enough mana. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, Jason on the uh, crystal maiden, uh, pretty old school skill build. I feel like nowadays most people just go for max crystal nova for that extra team fight nuke. And then the frostbite as well is good. And sometimes just skipping aura altogether. But I guess they feel like they need the mana regen. And push on the bottom lane. Yeah, here. big fight here in the bottom. Now. Rich gonna he's gonna doom up the bat rider, so bat rider can't cast firefly, so that's gonna be able to extend this team fight a little bit. Uh, Rich able to actually oh, pick up a kill. Key, Jason right? getting a kill. So Rich maybe won't even go down. Wood shows himself too. He's just chilling in the trees after dropping the fisher. So the tower dive goes wrong there. Now unstoppable finds himself pretty low and slightly caught out. Seven. He's got down firefly. The bottom now. Have to use oh man, Jason can pop a Q Most maybe, but now he's got uh, now oh, the Zeeth's coming Zeeth. down, Zeeth's rotating down, he's gonna find Crystal Maiden out, and about, we'll just go for the tower, oh, the tower's gonna scare him out he though. gets rich, he impale, reaction. there's a nice impale on the ridge, a good stun there, wow, oh, the stun's bollocks when bollocks uses the ult, and then unstoppable comes in, so top of the line turns that uh, right around, Zeeth's got his dag on finish, uses it on Crystal Maiden there, Gets a double kill. Doom also drops there at the end. Or was that wood that just dropped at the end? Yeah, actually, uh, Seventh, Seventh or whatever, getting his, uh, getting that kill there, he's picked up a full Diffusal yeah, Blade in diffusal. his stash. So, yeah, as soon as that comes out, it's gonna be, uh, pretty, pretty good damage. I wonder if TOL is gonna look to group up and try to, try to push some towers down while they can. Or, uh, whether they're just gonna keep, uh, farming on the Phantom Lance, because I feel like. They could just uh, sit back and farm the Phantom Lancer, and you know, I, I feel like a Doom can't really do much against a Phantom Lancer late game. Yeah, I'd have to agree. Especially with especially the, with how strong he is nowadays, and how he's been doing this game with all the pressure being brought to the bot lane and successful ganks on the, the other team's. But gotta be careful here, up top. Yeah, Predict's gonna actually yeah, go on. Yeah, Predict is pretty Maybe strong. You might be able to take him down. Uh, Doom is up. Doom is used. Like Purge, I don't think... Oh, uh, it was used with the damage amp. It's enough. So Rich, underestimating the, the strength of a, a Shadow Demon, who actually has quite a bit of levels. Yeah, I feel like if he... Uh, oh, there's another kill there on the bottom lane. Big fight coming up. Crystal oh, Maiden nice ultimate, ultimate by Jason. They're gonna pick up two kills with that, I believe. Or, no, just one. Picked up Batrider, unstoppable with that, but gonna drop. And bad mofo, no mana, just out of the middle of nowhere. Spirit Lance from 7th. Gonna take him down, he's gonna go at wood now. There's the Diffusal Blade charge used. And that's a double kill for 7th. He gets that mana. Captain Crane maybe could've chakered him that mana a little earlier, but maybe it was on cooldown. Yeah, so I've got my I now I've got my screen on the last two charts. Phantom Lancer leading that, followed by Z, but I think the more important one here is uh, the kills and death. Nyx uh, leading here with eight one, Phantom Lancer three and zero. So you know, two of two of the main killing heroes here for TOL getting pretty much all the kills. There's another one for uh, for Phantom Lancer. Where was so, oh, he's like Nyx green in the trees? I couldn't even see him. Yeah, so hard to follow. He's almost got his his uh, dagger level two as well. So, uh, you know, if this keeps snowballing, then TOL's going to be in a really good position. And I think Washed Up need to either group up and take some, you know, well-timed fights, or else just, you know, 
play a little safer and ward up and just get some sentries out there to watch out for uh, the next assassin. Else he's just going to decimate the team. Everyone pointing out that Zeth has got quite a few double damage runes uh, this game. Up top here, bad mofo. Bad mofo bad gonna get initial on. round too. No dust though, just just uh, napalm in the fire. He might actually. Oh no. Oh. Bad mofo, don't do it, man. Keep running. <laughs> Some nice banter between the players themselves there. I'm always fun to see. I believe Zeth picked up another kill. Just on the edge of the screen there. Now going for wood with the impale. There's We've got a mana impale. leak on the wood, so he's not gonna run. He pops the fisher, he runs, he gets stuns. Zeth taking a lot of damage from this tower, he's gonna have to back out. Two more hits. No, just gonna be one. Yeah, he's gonna Seven chasing Balix so here in the bot lane into the base. The fusal charge is used. Will it be enough? It is, but now Seven might find himself in a, in a slightly awkward position here. Oh, he can get out. He used the illusion to tank the tower. And the well played uh, there by Seven. And the rest of. Yeah, Seven has actually. Sorry, Svent has actually picked up the 3,500 gold. He's just been kind of caking around on that defusal blade uh, up till now, and just kind of getting mana back from Captain Cray on the Cube of Lights, so, and as well as using those Tranquil Boots, so he's going to be fine. We'll see if he goes for that Radiance. You know, it's pretty uh, old it school, popular build for the Phantom Lancer. Yeah, he might as well. I mean, so, mo nowadays we, we normally see the defusal blade into a heart, but, uh, you know, if you, if you can save the gold, the Radiance is super strong on the Illusion Hero, like Phantom Lancer. And while I was talking about that, uh, Predict is able to kill the bounty hunter there. Uh, uh, near the top the secret the shop. Right. The sentry wards will get you when you're in invis and you think you could just run around. Yeah, that shadow game, man, he's just so strong. Like, just by himself. Nick's vendetta well. up, has, has yeah. invis. Vendetta, Dagon combo, almost enough to take Wood, and Wood dies anyway. Two man impale there under Rich and Balax right Gets before the dupe coming out. Here's Jason, needs some big cues. But it's on cooldown, Illuminate oh. taking a lot of health out of Rich. He's got his ultimate Bollocks. in one second. Balax oh, gonna live. He's got the mana lead. Oh. Predict taking a lot of damage, Zeth with another two man impale. I'm lagging somewhat hard. Track up onto Zeth, so now Bad Mofo can chase and try to kill him, but it's gonna get taken down there with the oh. Illuminate. That Illuminate, and Zeth picks Ooh. up a kill, God, like, able to stay in there. And Jason gonna drop as well to keep him under the light. Oh, Fisher. Not able to take off. That was on. Here's Predict, the lasso coming but, uh, in. The lasso coming in onto Wood, and then Wood gonna drop. Zeth able to get another kill. He stuns Balix's ultimate again. That's like the fifth time. And then he lives, but he dies. He gets godlike, and then he dies. Beyond godlike streak, gold pit being picked up here by Balax on the Shadow Phoenix. Yeah, 726. gold from pretty much nothing. Yeah. But, you know, that team fight was almost really, really unfortunate for TOL. At the start of it, Shadow Demon full health, full mana. And uh, he had the ultimate coming off, but he didn't want to use it on the Shadow on the Shadow Demon, or the Shadow Phoenix, excuse me, because it was just so low to health, it was just like one auto attack, but he was able to bottle up, and because of that, he's kind of got caught out of position to predict and uh, going down, but, you know, TOL is just looking really strong right now with that Phantom Lancer, as well as the Dagon level 2 so far. He's got level 3 in his uh, in his stash with, uh, by Z tier. The, the Radiance Assassin, recipe so. was picked up. Yeah. Oh, by Phantom Lancer, really? Yeah, but he doesn't have a Relic yet. He's still 150 gold away from the Relic. Yeah, I feel like he can chill in the jungle for a little bit and grab that pretty quickly. Coming after him. Oh, looks like washed up. Might suspect it, yeah. No, it's just, they're just kind of like chokeholded into a, a very small section of, of the map right now. Just the offensive ward coming out here by, uh, by Jeez, TOL. Jeez, they're with Dagon there. 3. Looking for Rich. Doesn't care yeah. that the tower's there. There's the Impale, there's the Dagon. And that's the kill. Another little mana burn for good measure. Taking a lot of tower hits. Gonna have to back off. He's got a bottle. He can probably get almost back full health, maybe. Will Scott have a mech? No, just get ultimate orb. What's he going? Atos, I guess? Yeah, probably. Rod of Atos, the best item in the game. That is pretty wrong. awesome. Oh, no, horses, not. take a bad bofo down the half. It's a fun item for Phantom Lancer picking that up. 
Yeah. Dude, here comes the Radiance here for Phantom Lancer. He's got it completed on the chicken now. And the Rod of Ages is completed as well, like you said. Gonna take another Illuminate to the face here, maybe. Oh, Wood gonna be the unlucky one to get that. And uh, Predict so just pushing top games. up here. Yeah, so much action in this game, it's kind of hard to uh, do some item analysis. Radiance finished, but, um, Dag on 3 yeah. on Nyx. Blink up on... Blink's been up for a while. Oh my god, the Shadow Demon just melts. Shadow Fiend, sorry. Jason yeah. getting pretty low as well, no mana at all. This could be a big ultimate behind the Fisher, but he's just gonna go down. Rich gonna go down as well, and Wood soon to follow. Bad Mofo disconnected, but if he was here, that Illuminate may have taken him out. Yeah, and it looks like uh, two walls just kind of getting their uh, push on in the in the bottom lane, trying to go for the high ground here. They've got the strong uh, Phantom Lancer with that Radiance Diffusal. It's really hard to stop right now. He's not as tanky as he uh, as a uh, as he could be, I guess, just uh, rushing those big strength items. But he's got another two thousand gold in the bank, so maybe gonna go for that hard next. And, well, the Spirit uh, Lance lands on the Balax, the but Zeth isn't gonna chase. Lincoln from Batrider, maybe gonna get caught out and picked off here when they could just be getting the rack. Oh, a nice Fisher there from Wood, and then the Doom able to deny. Yeah, Zeth oh. there on the deny. So nice, quick deny. Jason gonna drop down as well. That Radiance Burn just doing too much damage, and then Zeth is manning up here, going on Rich. Craig gets the kill with Mana Leak? Auto Attack? I'm not sure. Spirit Lance on the Balax. Radiance Burn gonna be enough. He's gonna drop 7 with a double kill. Now he's tower diving already. Gonna get what? No. He's couple more, he's got a couple more. Needs a lance, needs a lance. He needs no, to get out before he finds himself dying here. Zeth picks up dang. Dagon 4 from the enemy store there. Dominating. Oh, and he picks up a kill as soon as yeah, I look away. So quick. <laughs> oh, Bad Mofo getting a kill here on Predict, so uh, able to take him out. Nice job by Bad Mofo here. Yeah, on the dying hunter. I guess that's why they uh, pick him so early, you know? I guess that's why I call him a Bad Mofo. <laughs> the Radiance Burn, the PL, the Radiance Burn doing so much damage. Balak's dropping. Rich dying to Captain Cray's Illuminates. This Illuminates have been spot on oh. this game. Yeah, definitely. Nice play here by Captain Cray on the Keeper Light. Take a look at the gold, 30k advantage, 30k XP is. advantage. That could have been expected. That's why I haven't really checked it out in a while. Attack on 5 turnaround. It equals the death of an Earthshaker. So bottom rack's gone here, top of the line looking very in control of this game, kills 43 to 11 and just gonna rhythmically push down, maybe thrown after two racks, we'll see. They could use for some health to, and then reach the charge and then uh, come back and just end it promptly. Hard to believe this game is only 22 minutes. Yes, Vent has actually picked up uh, Vladimir's offering uh, on that Phantom Lancer. I assume that's for him actually, I'm pretty sure. I saw him with like 5,000 gold, so... He's back down to 3200 now, maybe gonna go for a Reaver or something like that. I think would be a really strong choice, but, you know, at this point, I don't know. Defensive disruption there by Predict, and uh, gonna get some extra illusions, so a nice extra damage there on the tier 3 tower. Oh, and a blink there in on the Ridge. Lance. Ridge could be going down here. Defusal. And the attack's enough. Shadow Rays almost takes off this event. Jason pops alt for a sec, but goes down quickly to Unstoppable. And then Zeth here on the Prowl again. Dagon 5. Auto attack. Mana drain is enough. Doesn't even need Vendetta. Nice defensive Shadow. Or, I mean, disrupt there from Shadow Demon. A mid 2 3 is down. Yeah. It's like bad moments. I remember a lot of. Uh, a lot of banter issues about uh, Vladimir's offering on a Phantom Lancer. A lot of newer players like to rush a Vladimir's offering on a Phantom Lancer. I, I don't think it's a bad idea. Uh, like as a secondary or third item, I guess, for a Phantom Lancer. But uh, the lifesteal does not work on the images. Uh, they just get the although damage aura. The images, the image, yeah, the, the damage aura. The images will, will get the like the um, the visual effect that there is being lifesteal. Ace has Kills them off here, but they, they actually don't steal any life. I saw that. So, um, yeah. That sexy Atos animation there coming out from Captain Cray. <laughs> Yeah, so that's a team wipe. Yeah. Looks like the game is in the back. These four towers can be going down. So that, that brings top of this game. Um, yeah, we can it's safe to assume top of the line taking it. So that takes them up to 2-2 two and two now. I believe washed up is unfortunately at a 0-4 oh situation. Uh, just so update there on yeah, the Sivo. You know. 
Oh, big crystal maiden. Nova. Nova. <laughs> Stop it. Nova. So now with the rage buyback, I guess. He's, uh, he's buying boots to travel as well. He's going to be back in this fight. Another 2k gold as well. <laughs> nice one, OJ. Crystal Maiden did not kill. Oh, not going to be able to pick oh, up. Oh, they eliminated so much damage I don't even there. know why. Yeah. Play by plan. Play what by plan the fountain that? kills instead of doing our usual plugs. Uh, I will say <laughs> yeah. thanks to Sivo for, was... for letting us do these. Uh, season 1 will end with a playoffs. The top 16, 16 teams will be going to the playoffs. And then Season 2 registration will open once those start. Uh, it'll be NA and North America, and North America will aim to have open and main divisions. And that's the SIBO news. Cali can take it away now. Yeah, I would just say um, for future references, I mean, just uh, kind of in, uh, in the, in, the, in, the uh, in light of learning uh, here, I'd say Washed Up had a pretty good try lane. They, they had the Airshaker, they had the Crystal Main. They, I feel like they were able to shut down the Byrider pretty handedly. Uh, I feel like the mid lane, it just, I feel like Washed Up didn't really give themselves the advantage that they that they required. Putting a Shadow Fiend in, in the middle uh, in in this patch, really, it was just, you're kind of at a disadvantage as soon as you pick them. I feel like Shadow Fiends nowadays kind of go on the safe lane if you pick them at all. So uh, maybe just looking for a better mid hero. I mean, Queen of Pain would have been really nice against uh, against the Nyx, or even uh, first pick in the Bow Rider would have been really nice against the Nyx, but... You know, going to that Shadow Fiend, it's, it's a risky choice, but it can pay off if you can get the quick uh, Shadow shadow Blade as well. Ba and I feel like Bad Mofo did really nice on the top lane, so uh, shout out to Bad Mofo. Uh, I was able to pick up, pick up a few solo kills, but uh, TOL just played pretty perfectly, and they were able to shut down Washed Up before they could get any steam on that Doombringer, so nice play by both teams here. Yeah, and in terms of around. plugs, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I get, the, I get the Harper analysis. But... Uh, in terms of plugs, I guess uh, at FMVP Dota on Twitter. Uh, follow us, 100 followers, and we give out an item set, something like that. I don't know. Follow us on Twitter, and you'll find out all that information. And on YouTube at uh, youtube.com backslash FMVP Dota. Uh, we really appreciate all the comments we're getting. I love seeing comments. Uh, thanks for all of that. And, um, you know, it's nice to see the subs as well. So, uh, yeah, hit it up. All right, thank you for tuning in. That's all I got to say. Have a good night, everyone. Peace. <laughs> Later, guys.